So um, I was able to uh, print pretty good with a TPU on my Voron with an afterburner. And, and show you. Um, it got stuck there pretty well, so I have to heat it up. Uh, one of the things with TPU, you want to, uh, if it gets stuck, don't force it. Heat it up to like 80 degrees and put some alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And that will come off much easier because um, you got a heated bed and then you got the alcohol to help you get it off. If you force it open, um, especially if you're using uh, PEI sheets, that might um, cause it to peel off. And that's not fun. Um, so best thing with TPU is just heat it up, heat, heat up your bed to about 80. And as soon as it heats up, uh, spray with isopropyl alcohol and boom shop. So this happens a lot of times. If you don't take your PPU off right away, um, this printed last night. Print really good. Um, the only issue I have is uh, some of the angles here, um, but that's because it's it's like it's like a little bit more than 45 degree angle, so I'm not too worried about it. But the overall quality is wow, really good. Um, so you do not need uh, you do not need to upgrade to a stealth. Um, is that stealth burner? After burner works fine for TPU. Now, only thing that I had to really do because it kept clogging, um, what you go is go ahead and uh, go ahead and loose, loosen the uh, the filament tensioner all the way until it pop, pops off, and then and then literally just do half a dial in after it it attaches. Um, so my my dial is super loose, and after that, has zero uh, clogging issues. Uh, I can push the filament with the Dragon High Flow here up to 45 millimeter uh, cube. So if you can, if you can do that, there's a, you know, there's no issues with clogging. And I do have a, um, I do have a, like a ball bearing spool holder, which also you will need. Um, don't use a reverse Bowden, then you will end up uh, having clogged um, TPU. Now, if you do want to use a reverse Bowden, what I did with my other setup is I only have a little piece coming out because you don't need that whole piece going all the way into the extruder. This is how I have it set up uh, for all my filaments. And this works just fine, and this works great for TPU. Um, that way, you don't have clogged. Uh, but I did print out some stealth burner parts. Um, so I'm not, I'm not entirely sure because I was going to upgrade to the stealth burner if I absolutely need to, but it's... Pretty fine TPU. The speeds are not the problem. Clogging is not the problem. Um, I just have to dial in the fan. And the thing with TPU is it doesn't require a ton of cooling. Also, oh, that's a, another thing. But overall, very satisfactory uh, results on my Voron. I got I got it uh, input shape tuned um, for TPU material pressure advance. Um, numbers go real high, so I would just stick with maybe like 0.08 because if you go any higher, you'll start getting very rounded edges. Uh, you simply cannot dial in TPU perfect. Anyway, just a quick video on my TPU success with afterburner on the Voron 2.4.